many of us know of Buck Wheeler and know the innovative things that he's brought to the industry and know that he's a horseman uh, and knows about the behavior of horses. And uh, the products that he's brought to us are products that, uh, that help us that assist us in tough problems on, on the daily life of a horse farm. Um, and uh, once you see his products and utilize them, you find that his way of thinking and solving problems is a, is a way that helps you out on a daily basis, um, especially with the, with the mare milker. Ounce for ounce, nothing impacts a pedigreed foal's future performance quite like colostrum, a mayor's first milk. Research proves that absorption of high-quality antibody and protein-rich colostrum consumed at the right time and in the proper amount provides a foal its greatest level of defense and protection against infection, morbidity, and mortality in the critical first year of life. The Utterly Easy Milker works effectively on a broad range of species. Use the small cylinder to accommodate small or maiden mares, llamas, sheep, goats, or miniature cows. Use the larger cylinder to extract milk from mares suffering from mastitis or for large breed mares. The Utterly Easy Milker also has been shown to work effectively on certain exotic species like zebras and camels in zoos and other controlled environments. When it comes to obtaining equine milk and colostrum, Nothing's easier than the utterly easy mayor milker. Here's Buck Wheeler to demonstrate. You want to make sure that this bag is sufficiently cleaned off. Be sure and wipe down both teats and make sure that that bag is totally clean before that foal has a chance to nurse. And the very next thing we need to do is make sure that the wax plugs are out of the bottom of the teats and at least get milk started. We've got that colostrum flowing before we apply the pump. As we go up, about to go up underneath of this bag, just take and tilt this bottle back a little bit towards the pump because it's, it's a vacuum pump, so it's critical that that has to be tied up against there. As we go up underneath the teat, make sure that it's centered. We start the pumping process. After about the third squeeze, we should be start it should be start to draw the milk, and here, here comes the colostrum. As long as the milk is running, stop pumping. And then it slows down, you can start pumping again, and it, it brings it back in. To break the seal, just simply tilt back the bottle towards the pump handle. It releases the vacuum and comes right off from the tape. Now that we've collected enough colostrum, about four to six ounces here, we're gonna go ahead and put it in a nurse bottle for this baby and get it into it right away. You simply pour the colostrum into the bottle. It's very important to get the colostrum into these babies as soon as possible. It's been our experience and what we've noticed in the last five years of the research and development of the Utterly Easy is the fact that we get that warm colostrum in there the antibodies are working, plus the fact that these babies start that sucking reaction. This is the 18 ounce bottle. Full before you start, engage the teat, push it up into the udder, pump it, let it back down a little bit. This is the 18 ounce bottle. First thing we want to do is we're going to go ahead and squirt a little bit of milk out of each teat and uh, make sure you got both orifices are open and go ahead and get the other one. And then we'll go ahead and, and connect the ultimate easy. You can do the one teat at a time. Push it in. All right, now go ahead and put the other one on. This baby had been nursing the mare, but um, we've got the idea.
Oops, now watch the other one. See, it's about ready to come off. Shut your ear off. Shut your ear off. And then go like that. And you got that out of there. And look at how fast that's filling. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You can't milk them out by hand that fast. No, definitely not. <laughs> it's full already. It's very critical because, as you can see, this baby's going right after that colostrum. And like I said previously, it teaches them that sucking reaction, re a reflex action. So it, it's really feeling good to him at this point. Always make sure you don't try and squeeze that bottle too hard or you're forcing that baby to suck because it's a very strong possibility sometimes that it could go down the wrong windpipe and get into the lungs and that's not a good idea. But when they've got their tongue wrapped around that nipple like they have right here, everything's going in the right place. And uh, he just about got this uh, eight to 10 ounces, probably what was in there, uh, gone at this point. Nothing gives newborns a healthier start than all-natural, antibody-rich colostrum. And nothing protects the significant investment in foals better than the controlled administration of high-quality colostrum in the first critical hours of life. The utterly easy mare milker will help maximize any foal's ultimate performance potential from the very first feeding. The, this mare milking device he's come up with is is a, is a godsend to our industry. In your truck or in your clinic, you, you wonder if you're going to make space for a product. Um, and this is a product that I'm making space in my truck for. I've been working with thoroughbreds for about 30 years. This milker is the best milker that I have worked with ever. What you can do in seconds takes minutes for you to do by hand. And the problem with milking a mare by hand is that your hand pressure is never consistent. With the Ultimate Easy and the silicone inserts, it's a more natural feel to the mare. She relaxes easier, she lets down easier. It's great for safety and um, on top of everything else it does. They don't seem to mind it at all. They are, seem very comfortable when you put it on, um, the suction's on the mare. They take a big deep breath, like a sigh of relief, like, oh my gosh, thank you so much for helping me out. And ma main thing of all is colostrum. We've been able to collect more, keep more around ever since we've had this machine. And colostrum is always at a shortage, so it's very well needed. You, you know exactly what you get, you know exactly how much you get, and you know exactly how much you're giving the foals. And what it comes with, the tubing, the bottles, it's just been a wonderful thing that we have. It's very easy to teach the, um, the guys on the farm or whoever's using the machine how, how to use it. So it doesn't require that myself, the veterinarian, always be there to watch them using it. I trust that they all can use it properly. I've spent many a, a time underneath the mare trying to milk her out by hand and it's a 10-15 minute job with this milker. It cuts it to usually about one, between one and two minutes. The only disadvantage that I would say is that I only have one on the farm. I would love another, not just on this farm, but on all the farms that I work at. It's a really nice piece of equipment. I'm glad we have it. It is most humbling to have a world-class operation such as TaylorMade Farm utilizing our products who raised recent Triple Crown winner, American Feral. In addition to the aforementioned uses, it is also very critical to be able to use the ultimate easy in drawing out that potentially fatal colostrum on these NI or neonatal isothrallosis mares. It takes several milkings over a period of time until the colostrum has completely left the mare and her milk comes in. If you ever have any doubts about NI or neonatal isothrallosis, please consult your veterinarian. They're your first line of defense. We 
start on our foals uh, when they're probably a couple months old and we start teaching them to tie up along beside, right alongside of their mother, beside their dam. And I use my other little invention I call the buck along and we hook that on there and it goes over the butt through the halters, snaps onto the halters because it's got two sets that you can adjust these as they get bigger. And, um, and then I go ahead and hook that to the line because if it pulls back, it's pulling on the rump forward and a horse will always try and come forward off that back end um, just to get away from the pressure. After many years of foaling, training, breeding, going to the sales preps, going to the sales, doing the sale prep, I decided after, after many years of leading these foals, there had to be a better way than the way we were doing it. The way we've always done it is we take the lead rope, flip it over the baby's back end, and then go like this to follow them with the mare. Now, one thing, they get a little bit bigger, or if they haven't been taught to do it right, when you put more pressure on the colt, the first thing you do is turn that head to the back. That just didn't, they can't go forward because the butt always follows the head. So I found a better way to skin the cat, I think, and it works real well, and it's called the buck along. We can go ahead, and this is very adjustable. It wants, you need to go right over the rump with it. It needs to go just above the hocks. And to start with, this is adjustable. As the baby gets bigger, you can make it bigger. You just simply unhook it, unscrew the uh, thimble, unscrew the thimble, and then set it back to about the right space that you need. The next thing we do is, and I always use two halters, because we're going to hook up in a little bit, and I never want the halter to break or the fold to get loose. They never, then that way they never learn how to uh, escape on you. Now, I've got two, two uh, halters on here, so I'm just going to clip into one now. When we hook up, I'll click clip into both of them just for the safety factor. Now, the main thing that I want to show you here is the fact that we've got even pressure between the back end and the head. The head always stays in line with the, uh, with the butt. So when I put the pressure here, see they just try and get away from that pressure on their back end. A little bit of pressure and up he comes. And we're going to go over to the line here in a minute and I'll show you exactly what we're talking about. No more fighting, jumping on you or anything else. I'm going to take the mare in with the fold so he doesn't get upset and hopefully uh, he'll, he'll go right onto the trailer with us. So, because the mare gets more upset about it than he does. So <clears throat> I'll go ahead and drop this ramp and we'll do that. Cody, come on. Whoa. You don't want them jumping out. Whoa. Whoa, little man. Very good. Come on, let's go. Now we'll see if you're going here alone. Come on. Come on, buddy. Very good. Come on, little man. Whoa. We don't want you jumping. Come on. Good boy. Very good. When I designed the buck along, it's 13 feet long, so you can actually use it on, on, sm on smaller yearlings and stuff loading, too. And we have this leather little thongs braided back into the end of them. So if you need something, and the other part of it is, too, just start going to help you doing some more desensitizing on these colts. And this little stuff right here, you'd be surprised how much that's going to make when this colt's a yearling. You can see it's slapping him in the belly. He's just standing here now because he's went through the, the school, schooling of the buckle along and also the stabilizer. And he's not trying to get away from it. He's not scared of it. Nothing. 